हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू इन्फॉर्मेटिका सपोर्ट वीडियो दिस इज श्रुति फ्रॉम इन्फॉर्मेटिका जीसीएस एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल फर्दर डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सॉन एडीसी इंटीग्रेशन सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग लेट्स सी द एजेंडा फॉर टुडे इस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर हाउ टू मैप ईडीसी एसेट्स टू एक्सॉन then we will see how to assign linked clause g and inferred clause g then we'll move forwards for some of the frequently asked questions and the troubleshooting part so before going ahead let's recap whatever we have discussed in the exxon edc integration video part 1 so in that video we have discussed that we have to map edc assets to exxon assets in order to avail the data governance facilities so if you want to govern your data you have to map whatever data is present in edc to whatever data is present there in exxon only then you can govern your data by using the exxon data governance tool so and further we have seen how to do the configurations regarding exxon edc integration so now in this video let's discuss our first topic that is how to map edc assets to exxon so let's move to our rdm catalog ui first we will go to our exxon ui to see the linking and thereafter we will move to rdm catalog ui to see how to assign inferred glossary and linked glossary so this is our exxon ui so as of now we can see the resources but fields are not getting listed here so first of all we have to map our edc resources to exxon system and once we are done with this mapping so whatever resources we have mapped with our exxon system for that particular resource we can see all the fields in the exxon so whatever fields will be present there under that linked or associated edc resource that will get displayed here so let's see how to associate a edc resource with ed exxon system just click on the field click on the row of the concerned resource which you want to associate then right click manage linking here we just have to select the exxon system let's say system 5 then just save it so now system 5 has been mapped to edc resource so now as you can see the field count has changed from 0 to 3317 and this is our resource and as you can see the linked exxon system is sys5 so now moving further we can again link our edc fields to exxon attributes so for doing that before doing that let's see what all uh, entries are present here so this these are the edc fields and thereafter here you can see the uh, table name under which this field is present as well as the resource name under which that table is present so this will this field parent will tell you the table name under which this particular column is being present and then this resource field will tell you the resource under which this table is present so let's link this particular attribute or this particular edc field with exxon attribute so for that we first have to select a data set and then for any attribute which is present under this data set we can link it with edc field now just click on save and now you can see the status has been changed from reported to associated if you will just click on associated you will see the list of all exxon attributes that are being linked to the edc column so now moving further let's see how we can get this linked glossary and inferred glossary here so from edc side you can link any of your assets like resource table or a column with exxon glossaries so as we have discussed in the part 1 of this video that we have to create a exxon type resource in edc and when we will run the scanner for that exxon type resource it will fetch all the exxon glossaries under that resource so by using that resource we can assign any particular glossary to a any edc asset so let's see how we can do this so this is our rdm catalog ui and we have opened a particular field 
called reason id now if i want to link this particular field with our exxon glossary i just have to click here add business title and then from here we have to select our exxon resource now it will list all the glossaries so suppose i want to link it with glossary 6 thereafter just click on the tick icon so that particular message was occurring there because earlier at some time we might have linked this particular glossary with the same field and later on we have deleted it so it is concerning it as a rejected item now we can just link it with a different glossary so now as we can see it has updated the glossary name here so now going back to the x1 y we just have to refresh the page now if we will see for that particular field reason id we can see the linked glossary is whatever glossary we have associated just now similarly for inferred glossary we have to link the glossary with the domain so as soon as you will link the glossary with domain from edc side and then if you will come back to the rex one ui you can see that glossary name under the inferred glossary so this is all about mapping of edc assets with exxon assets as well as regarding linked glossary and inferred glossary so let's move towards the frequently asked questions and interval shooting part so the first point is even after doing the exxon edc integration why resource count is still showing so for troubleshooting it or for debugging it firstly make sure that your edc instance is up and running fine if it is up and running fine then just make sure that whatever edc configuration details or edc server details that you have provided in exxon admin panel at the time of doing exxon edc integration all that information is correct the host name port username password resource name and all other things are perfectly fine if that is also fine and if you are able to ping your EDC server from your Exxon server and vice versa and even after all this you are not able to see the resources in Exxon then please contact Informatica GCS for further assistance. Thereafter the second point is if we click on any EDC asset in Exxon UI then it is not redirecting us to EDC. So we go to our Exxon UI so here if we click on any EDC assets like here if I will click on this particular field then it should open this particular field in LDM catalog so in some scenarios when user click on this EDC assets it doesn't take them to EDC or to LDM catalog the most probable reason behind it is when you have provided the EDC host name at the time of Exxon EDC integration under the admin panel of Exxon then you might have missed HTTP or HTTPS before the host name so please make sure to provide http or https before providing the host name that should resolve this issue moving towards the third point syncing of new resources created in edc with exxon so as soon as people have generally asked that if i have created a new resource in edc then how exxon will be able to fetch it immediately or even after some time so Exxon makes REST API calls to EDC at a regular, regular interval and whatever resources you will create in EDC so immediately if you will go again back to the Exxon UI you can see that particular resource in Exxon. Similarly if you will create a new glossary in Exxon then on the EDC side for that particular Exxon type resource you have to run the scanner again in order to fetch that particular glossary from Exxon. So once you will run the scanner again, then at that particular point of time, whatever glossaries are present in your Exxon instance, all those glossaries will be fetched to your EDC instance. So that's it about the Exxon and EDC integration. If you have any further query or if you have any feedback or suggestions regarding this video, please contact us using these links. Thank you for watching the video.